CSIR's MTEX Protein Laboratory in Chandigarh has all the typical assets of any science laboratory – shells of conical flasks, petri dishes, and test tubes. Amidst the silent hustle of the laboratory, however, a new language is taking shape. Out of a storeroom turned studio, equipped with a green screen, a laptop, some lights, and a camera, a group of students are creating engaging science videos, but in silence. These students are hearing impaired, but have a keen interest in science. Under the guidance of the lab head, Alka Rao, hearing impaired students are working on developing popular science videos in the Indian science language. We are at the CSIR Intech uh, Protein Lab and uh, with me I have Dr. Alka Rao who has started this initiative of developing a language, a sign language that specifically caters to the words that are required to be known in uh, when you study any STEM subjects. And uh, Dr. Rao, I would like to know from you what is it that triggered uh, this thinking. Aapko kyun laga ki hume India mein is tarah ki ek language alag se banane ki zaurat hai? Uh, as a volunteer, I have been working with uh, deaf kids for quite some time. And while going there, I uh, came to understand and I got sensitized by the people who were already there working ahead of me and leaders in the field. Uh, I realized that STEM is an area which deaf kids fear the most. STEM is the area which they don't opt for uh, when it comes to higher education. So, I saw a and my primary involvement was with uh, deaf schools, which is largely in Haryana. Uh, the purpose was that they called me that I would uh, uh, कुछ साइंस के कुछ वर्कशॉप्स करूं बच्चों के साथ एंगेज होके उनको कुछ मोटिवेट करूं या साइंस में कैसे होता है लैब में कुछ साइंटिस्ट करते क्या है वो सब बातें बताऊं तो मैं उसी पर्पस से जाती थी वहां और डिफिकल्टी सबसे बड़ा वहीं आता था कि इंटरप्रेटर्स जो हैं वो मैं क्या बोल रही हूं उसे बता ही नहीं पाते थे वहां पर आ, बहुत सारी चीजें उनको उनके पास साइन नहीं होते थे तो ये समझ में आने लगा ये एक जॉइंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग था कि पहली दिक्कत तो साइन ही है Funded by the CSIR's Jigyasa program, the Indian Sign Language Enabled Virtual Laboratory or ISL EVL has so far translated over 100 science videos produced by CSIR labs into ISL. In the process, Rao's team is now also developing an ISL vocabulary for STEM subjects. About a hundred signs that express basic science terms like algae, protein or atom have been created by the group, many of which are already uploaded on their website. ऐसा क्यों है कि कुछ कुछ जैसे यूएस वगैरह में आप अगर देखें तो there are some uh, precedents to you know uh, science uh, words in sign languages तो हम uh, वो क्यों नहीं adapt कर रहे हैं आपको ऐसा क्यों लगा कि इंडिया के लिए अलग से बनाने की uh, जरूरत है uh, आप ठीक कह रहे हैं गैलिडेट यूनिवर्सिटी है जैसे यूएस में ए वर्ल्ड ओवर दे आर वन ऑफ द लीडिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो कि साइन लैंग्वेज में काम करती है कंटेंट बनाती है स्टैम्प का कंटेंट उनके पास होता है वो कैबलरी भी है बट uh, अगर आप वो भी अमेरिकन साइन लैंग्वेज भी देखेंगे तो वो फुल ब्लॉन शेप और फॉर्म में नहीं है okay. एक तो वजह होती है क्रिटिकल मास ही नहीं है आपके पास यानी कि टोटल नंबर देखेंगे तो मिलियंस में डेफ होते हैं बट mm-hmm. फिर भी उतने एजुकेटेड और उतनी स्टेज पे पहुंचे नहीं होते कि वो स्टेम को उतना विकसित कर पाएं या डेवलप कर पाएं एंड uh, साइन में साइन लैंग्वेज को भी उस मुकाम तक ले पाएं तो क्रिटिकल मास का एक प्रॉब्लम है और उस तरीके की एक्सपर्टीज का ना होना भी प्रॉब्लम है और जो ये बात बार-बार हम सुनते रहते हैं कि नथिंग for us without us mm-hmm. ये सच है ये पर्टिकुलरली इस बात के लिए तो पूरा सच है क्योंकि जब तक आप उन्हें इन्वॉल्व नहीं करते आप साइन नहीं बना सकते राइट दिग्विजय सिंह हैज अ बैचलर डिग्री इन आर्ट्स 
the 30-year-old lost his hearing during a childhood illness. Digvijay stands in front of the camera with an infectious confident smile. His eyes light up as he communicates with sign language, his expressions conveying a lot more than simple English words ever could. With the help of Teresa Arulwati, an ISLRTC intern at the lab, Digvijay told the print that he does not want to take this simple route in this project. Translating a simple word into ISL is not easy. It takes time and tough. There are signs in different sign language worldwide. I collect signs from deaf experts. For example, in ASL, they represent algae with finger spelling like algae. Deaf kids may not understand that. So I thought about it and collect signs from deaf experts. Here is the sign for algae. A visual representation that moves like this. Deaf kids can understand it better. Another example is protein. In America, the sign for protein in heavy in movement. So we made it more flexible, resembling the shape of protein. For fatty acid. There was no existing sign. Some used finger spelling. I thought about it and realized it would be a long time. So we created a sign like this. Making these signs takes time and careful consideration. अभी जैसे आपके lab में भी अभी काफी कुछ students हैं आपके जो if आपके research projects के साथ भी काम कर रहे हैं and they are also working with uh, you to make uh, these videos that are these outreach videos that have been translated into sign language and in the process the team is coming up with uh, new signs for uh, scientific words. So what is the kind of work that you're doing with them in this lab and uh, you know what do you feel about uh, STEM for uh, you know hearing impaired people? It's a nice question. Uh, actually, I've been privileged uh, uh, to be working in CSIR. In my organization, I must say, is very progressive. And there are uh, um, activities which are happening uh, under a program called Jigyasa. So it's an institutionalized program. Mm -hmm. It's not something ad hocism. Mm -hmm. It's a program, well-funded program. And under that, there was uh, the directions from the Head HR, DG, DG, CSIR, that uh, we have to make the science interesting for school students so that they more and more uh, kids opt for STEM subjects. Having worked with deaf students for many years, Rao believes that the community represents an untapped human resource with immense potential. However, Rao said that the lack of vocabulary was the primary reason that the deaf community was being left out of science education. This is the best form of carrying out such an activity. This is the right inclusion model. Right. Because if you will see, particularly the deaf kids, they learn the best through visuals. Mm -hmm. And when they are sitting right here in a scientific organization, their conceptual understanding improves dramatically. So, when you are creating sign, the very first requisite is the person who is creating a sign has to understand the concept very well, very thoroughly. Right. Only after that, if you are creating a sign, it is closer to the truth. Mm -hmm. And it will it'll be a sustained sign. It will it'll be easy to understand, mm -hmm. it will last. So, th with that kind of uh, you know nuances in it, doing it in a lab is a very wonderful model and it is we, we have the live case where we are seeing these kids when they understand a concept they really come up with correct you know interpretation mm -hmm. of it like atom if mm -hmm. I should say so if you see in um, American sign language it is something like this uh, but do you feel anything like atom in this right. in India you mm -hmm. asked me that what is so special mm -hmm. in India what our kids did they did it like See, in atom we have, you know, electrons mm -hmm. here and right. here. So they are doing like this. Five fingers means there are orbitals. Mm -hmm. And this is what, you know, the atom would be. 
so this is the difference uh, and then we have ethos our own traditions mm -hmm. so in india if you want to salute somebody you will do like this so this is the difference sign has a lot of impact uh, coming from the culture Right. The tradition. Hoshiar Singh, a 26 year old from Gurugram, is another hearing impaired student who is working with the lab. During his time at the lab, he works with postdoctoral students who prepare video materials on the basic science experiments. Observing every step, Hoshiar will later shoot a video translating the experiment in sign language for an outreach video himself. So, the next thing is make interesting content and make it available to. Uh, as many kids in the country by providing them in different languages. So within that only this uh, thought uh, came up in one of the task force meeting where it was asked. So we as an institute volunteer that we'll work for this sector right. and we'll try to give this content in uh, ISM. Mm -hmm. So uh, to be very truthful, this is a collective activity of CSIR. Right. So whatever lead you see today, it has its origin mm -hmm. in CSIR and Haryana Welfare Society uh, for uh, people with hearing and speech uh, impairment from Haryana coming together and uh, the support system from my organization in terms of funding, manpower, everything. Mm -hmm. So that is how this whole activity has taken some shape. So uh, over the last uh, few years or maybe a decade, it's being realized that uh, when we talk about science or when we want to disseminate science to the students, for example, uh, we are not actually bringing in the specially abled children into our uh, uh, fold. And uh, over the years, it's being realized that not only they require special uh, ways to actually be told how, uh, how science is and what science is, but it's also being uh, realized that many times that specially abled uh, children actually have uh, abilities uh, to understand science in a very different way and they can actually provide uh, important or develop important concepts about uh, scientific findings. So CSIR uh, uh, has been looking at uh, uh, trying to not just uh, able to connect with the specially abled uh, students, but also trying to see if we can actually develop uh, a language, a sign language, for example, uh, uh, students who are, uh, are not able to hear properly. So. Uh, uh, and Dr. Rao actually took her, took it up on herself as a challenge and over the last two years she has really uh, put together a program where the students have been actually not us not only helping us in actually developing this virtual sign sign language but also uh, bringing in students who can understand signs so we for example last year had a uh, a scientific con conference where we actually brought in these uh, 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 specially able students and they were uh, along with all of us they were made to understand what uh, the the science was being discussed and that actually is a uh, uh, is a revelation because they ask questions which we many times don't even think about and this is very important for the scientific community because this is where we should have been uh, probably several years ago uh, and I must uh, uh, congratulate Dr. Rao that she has actually put together such a nice program to help the specially abled uh, children. There is no STEM education in India and there is no accessibility. I would like to thank CSIR and Dr. Alka ma'am for including us and aiming to provide STEM education to deaf students. We encourage them to learn science, mathematics, engineering and more. I want to give them the concepts and make them understand ISL and help them grow all over India. This is Mohana Basu, assistant editor at The Print, bringing you this ground report from Chandigarh.